Hello chess friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here is a wonderful chess composition, which, uh, you know, I just, uh, I was just scrolling through the Facebook chess community and uh, someone posted this beautiful chess composition. It's by Mr. Ragnar. It's white to play and checkmate in three moves. Uh, and uh, some of the patterns, some of the checkmating patterns that occur in this uh, problem were like very unique, you know, it's very lesser known and unique and you'll absolutely enjoy it. So let's dive straight into it. It's white to play mate in three. As you can see, currently uh, the king is not having too many squares. And the first move is really inter interesting, you know, the key move. If you want, you can always pause it, by the way. I'm going to go right ahead and show you the move. The first move is knight to b4. Now, he has some options here. He can refuse to capture the knight and he can go to the b5 square or he can just capture the knight. Let's look at what happens if he doesn't capture the knight. Let's say he tries to escape with the move king to b5. Now, how do we react here? Uh, the approach of white is going to be very interesting. He did not take the knight. So we are going to do one more thing. Let us offer him the knight again. This time, maybe he wants to capture. Maybe he has changed his mind. All right, let's see what happens if the black king captures the knight. Well, this time we have the beautiful checkmate. Bishop to d7. It's a double bishop checkmate. Very interesting one with a pawn helping. A uh, unique one. You know, th those pawns are actually guarding some, uh, blocking some squares, which makes this checkmating pattern possible. What happens if he uh, does not capture the knight, but rather goes to, let's say, c4. Now we have bishop e2 checkmate. And, and the same will happen if he goes to the a6 square. Now this is more well-known um, checkmate. Just bishop e2, knight and bishop checkmate. Excellent one. All right. So basically after the move knight before, he must capture it. Otherwise, we offer uh, the knight again with knight c6. So he's going to capture the knight. And now what do we play in this position? Well, we are going to play the waiting move, which controls a lot of important squares, bishop to e2. And now it's pretty simple. The king has to go back to a5. And thanks to the pawn on c5, we can move our bishop to c3. And that's a checkmate. The pawn basically guards the basic square and everything is controlled. So that's the checkmate. A uh, wonderful checkmate I wanted to show. The, the, the moves are really interesting, you know, specifically, I, I like this idea of knight before offering him the knight. And when he doesn't take... Let's offer him again. Let's see if he changes his mind. And uh, what a wonderful chess composition, right? So excellent chess composition by Mr. Ragnar. Hope you enjoyed it. Do uh, like and share our video. So until next time, see you guys.